We have a cluster of the earthquakes in the areas uh, which coincide with the Fagradesvia volcano previously erupted in 2021. Uh, when we look at the depth of them, these are the depth of the mid-level crust lithosphere. And if I plot it on the model, you can see that this is the magnitude of the earthquakes and the depth of them. I will hold it at that depth. You can see that where they are. They are from a depth of around 9 or 10, we can say, to around uh, 7 to 6 kilometers. And that coincides with the Fagradesville area, the previous eruption. Uh, in the Blue Lagoon area or Swartzang area, uh, we don't have much activity. Uh, when we plot them, we see two clusters. That is Fagradesville uh, in the orange uh, rectangle and the Krisovic which is in the red rectangle. The area in the uh, Swartzing volcanic system in the blue rectangle is quiet. And this is what we see al also again in another form in this uh, diagram. And you can see on the map, actually, I should call it a map. You can see that. And uh, again, Swartzing, it doesn't have much activity. That's a blue rectangle. Uh, clusters of activity are at that uh, area uh, to the two areas in the west. And we look at the Swartzengi uh, reservoir magma accumulation, you see that uh, steady rise, but yet we have a lot of uh, space uh, until the next eruption, which in my estimate will be around 10 to 17 of November 2024. That is my prediction based on the model that we have for the land rise. At the moment, the system of the magma reservoir in the sourcing is closed. That means we have adding of the magma and uplift of the ground, but no exit. Uh, but in the adjacent areas, volcanic system of, of the Fagradesvial and Krisovic to the east of it, uh, we may uh, have a potential for uh, future eruptions uh, in the sense that these systems exist and the movement uh, of the plates leading to that direction and activation of this. In the area of the Sorsengi, we see some rain causing some evaporation of the water from the ground and some fumaroles forming there, evaporating. But at the moment, we have a long way yet to go, uh, probably one and a half months still, until the magma level in the Sorsengi reservoir will reach the level that it actually can overcome the resistance of the ground. And through the earthquakes, which makes it fluid as a non Newtonian fluid, uh, rise to the level of the ground, and we have an eruption, which will be the seventh eruption in the Sorsing volcanic system. Long way to go still.